Hi guys! A lot of people ask me how I stay on schedule. That's a big thing because I do a lot of things, especially just like you. I use a specific app for that. Now, it's not just any kind of app. It's available in iOS and Android, but this app shows planetary schedule. So it's not just a regular scheduler. It aligns you. It's called Align 27. Now, I'll show it to you there on your screen. You can see it there. It says Green Day. Hi everyone, welcome to your three-month prediction. I used to do this and it feels like maybe people want to have the next quarter, I used to do quarter, semi-annual, um, annually, like an insurance, okay? So we're bringing it back, all right? So this is going to be for April, May, and June. So this is going to be our three-month uh, forecast. Um, also, this is the Aries, uh, no, the Aries time. Once the Aries steps in, in two weeks from now, because this is still an early part of April, which means the start of the Zodiac, okay? It's a uh, spring. It's a sign of new hope um, and that's what we're trying to get here maybe we can get some good news some some good vibes even all right so this is gonna be for each of the zodiac i'm also gonna put the because a lot of people ask me on what tarot i use so then okay because i'm gonna be using something new um it's gonna be in the affiliate link below it's gonna be down there so for the tarot enthusiasts this is the modern witch it's going to be in the description box and this is what I'm going to be using for all 12 zodiacs. Um, also, um, I, I read through the sidereal uh, zodiac, Vedic, so I would uh, highly suggest um, watching from your ascendant or your moon sign and of course your Venus and Jupiter. If you are looking for Venus, which, which means relationship and partnership, or your masculine energy and you're looking for feminine, then Venus would be... Um, um, look for your Venus in your chart. And then for the feminine, of course, or looking for the masculine energy, look for Jupiter because Jupiter is your spouse. Um, and if you need to get your sidereal chart, it's going to be in the description box also. So it's free to download and get your chart. I also use a daily planner for astrology and it's also there which guides me every day. So it's called Align. And it's, you know, you get your forecast for astrology on pers for you, for your own personal use. Because, you know, it's it, it, you put your time, place of birth and everything, and then it gives you the transit. On, and you have your remedies, you have your rituals, you have everything, how the nakshatra, where it's moving, it's on point. Because it, it calculates uh, through the nakshatras also. So everything that you need is going to be in the description box. And right now, we're going to go through your reading. As we know, a lot of people like to complain about four years announcement here in this channel. <laughs> okay, so um, it's gonna, we're going to start now with each, with each of the Zodiac. Hi, Capricorn. Oh, I don't have glasses. I'm naked. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Can I clean my glasses? <laughs> I didn't expect that. You were coming today. Don't look at me. Okay. Without glasses, I look weird now. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, camera is rolling with no glasses. How are you? Sit down. Sit down there. Let's see what's going on. You and this person. Situation. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> situation. So let's see. Past, present, and what? Let's see what's yeah. You know, what's up with them? We'll see how the you know the blockages and obstruction that you guys have. Obstruction. What is this justice? But we'll see. You know the drill. Okay. So let's see what's the, the Capricorn here. Capricorn. Get a page of swords in the past. This is the past, past, present, okay. And um, what might be foreseeable future for you, okay? So let's see. The world and the world uh, and page of swords. 
Oh, hi. So it looks like you or this person. Let me see. Is this you? Yeah, yeah well, this is you. But I'm, I'm thinking about the page of swords. Um, you're accomplishing something in your life. Let's focus on this one first. Mm -hmm. Now, this is taking a step, um, I feel, out of your comfort zone. You know, of course, like it looks like she's comfort here. But it looks like you're really manifesting something big in your life. Mm -hmm. And what's your stepping uh, out of your comfort zone is like you're not trying to get involved with anybody. You see that? So you're protecting yourself from other people's opinion, energy, so that you can manifest this, you know, whatever this big thing. Because remember the magician has one of the staff. Now you have two. That's why this is a learned person. So you learned something. You're embarking on it, but you don't want to tell anyone. Now, the Page of Swords here, it's really looking like studying. Because Page of Swords is um, uh, how about this? A gathering of information. So you, may, you probably are part of a group or you're researching something, a big project that you want to give birth. Mm -hmm. But this is more of like now uh, financial. But this is also someone um, who's thinking about you. They're, you know, they're far from you. They're looking at you. It can be younger, older, younger air sign right here. And you're doubting their intention. So you have trust issues if it's a long distance uh, partnership. You don't trust them at all. But this is in the past line. Okay. Let me see. You get the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, it's really about your finances. So the King of, Cu King of Pentacles is what's sitting here like this. Okay. So the King of Pentacles, this shows someone who is more concerned about their stability, their work, their finances, wanting to be the best provider. So that can be you. Now, there's someone who's looking. This is at present. Someone is thinking about, this is Cancer and that's your seventh house. So they're really thinking about you. They want to offer something to you. I'm not sure if they made a move because this is a yin energy, especially this is a moon sign. So it's a receiver. So you would need at present, you know that you have to make the move towards this person. You know that for sure. Mm -hmm. You have the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, as far as like moving forward, you do not care. Yeah. You do not care about their feelings. It's I feel like they're just, you're just allowing this person to walk away. Uh, not unless they're just going camping, because it looks like going camping, right? But with the High Priestess and Eight of Cups, you're out. I mean, they're out. And because they're, you're not talking to them. You have other things that is consuming you and I feel like what's consuming you is like ideas. You have a lot of ideas circulating around you mm -hmm. and this is where your focus is. So this person is not a focus of your life. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to talk to you. Mm. Justice and I said it's like is there justice any earlier like obstruction? You get a justice, eight of wands. Okay. So as this person walk away, this is in the past, this is in the for, uh, moving forward, right? But in the past, okay, this person left you. Hmm. They could have divorced, separated from you. This is them. Did you did you chase them? You didn't, I feel. So I'm not sure where they went, but it's not coming towards you. For them, with the Justice card, there was something that they were not treated well. So there was imbalance, is what this person is saying. Let's 
Ten of Wands at present. And the Four of Swords. So this person, they're having a reality check. Um, and it does not look good. Um, I feel like this person now thinks it's like I feel they knew that they did the wrong thing of uh, walking away. Because they say, like, yeah, there was injustice because I, they did the all things, right? They say, oh, I, well, I did everything. And then now, with the Four of Swords, they're saying, it's like, why did I even left, you know, the, uh, the Capricorn? So they're having now, it's like, they're questioning their action. Normally, this is calm person. But there's a Four of Swords here, not the Swords here. Normally, three and then one. Because the three is the heartache. And then the truth is where you're lying on. So the truth makes you feel rested. But this person, instead of feeling rested, they're not at rest. Mm. After the breakup or separation. So they knew, they're feeling right now, what they did was the injustice. And the injustice was stored too. King of Swords, uh, moving forward in the future. You know, the King of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. So, um, yes, there, this, is, this is my work from home now card, the Eight of Pentacles is a um, you know they're just putting their focus um, can be again um, anything business related um, financial um, stability is what they're focusing on mm -hmm. and they're detached king of swords it's like don't expect this person to talk to you message you at all this is what they're focusing on mm -hmm. so both of you now are focused on coins let's see here a double lockage you got a nine of pentacles, challenges, magician. Okay, see, um, they're working for their independence. Nine of pentacles, magician here. Um, it remember I also said like the magician earlier mm -hmm. has the wand. You see, those are similar ones. Mm -hmm. Now those those are just those are meaning studies only. Okay, so you learn, you know what to do. Now. Here, what's what's stopping the relationship right now is who should be manifesting the relationship, you or them? Because you're not. You're not manifesting. So if you're not manifesting, then this becomes them. You want, basically, stability. You know what you want. This person knows also what they want, whoever this is. And the Ten of Pentacles here shows that they want to manifest a strong relationship, a stable relationship. Mm-hmm. But, of course, at present, they're still going through it, the Four of Swords. They're still thinking about what happened between the two of you. Because mm -hmm. remember, this person feels like they were doing all the things for you. That's why they left. But with the Magician, they're understanding that I feel like, no. It wasn't the, ca like, you know, they were not giving everything. It's only now. That can give, they can give everything. That they can focus on you. So they're having a reality check. That what they did was wrong. Okay? So, follow me all the way to the end in extended preview. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need is down there. Um, we'll see how the situation pans out. And then we'll draw multiple scenarios. You know, the whole, oh, oh they're going to make a move. Oh, or they're not going to make a move. Is there going to be a future between you and this person, you know, um, down the line? You know, all the questions. We're going to draw multiple scenarios. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. Not the band. <laughs> so, if you see here, if you read more, you click the read more, it will tell you what is the day about. What are the things that you can and cannot do? Big decisions, especially if you own a business, you're going to school, you have um, some sort of uh, work that you have a deadline. This is very, very powerful for that because it gives you the schedule. Now, it also gives you personal details of the planet and how it is affecting you. If you can see here, it says upcoming transit. You will see everything on a personal level on your chart. I already put my chart here. So that's why it says there, John Doe. I'm going to be looking at Venus for now. It's going to give me my own personal 
reading for Venus. The first part up there that you are seeing, that's for you. And then it's going to give you all the helpful information as far as the transit for the whole period of time that Venus is going to be in that specific house. All this and more. This is the first part. So I'm just letting you know, it gets more exciting. Make sure you click in the description box, my affiliate link. And together, we can plan ahead. I feel that the King of Wands is you. Uh, you're the Empress. King of Pentacles. Um, you're the King of Pentacles. You're really thinking that there might be someone else for you. Because you're the Queen. You're moving forward. I'm not going to take that back, you know, because the chart never goes reverse. You already understand, you know. This is